Hello and good day to all who are wanting to calculate VAT in Excel. So if you're looking to finding out the net from the gross in Excel or looking to finding out the gross from the net in Excel, you'll be surprised at how easy it is to do. I'm Simon. This is Computer Tutoring. Right, let's get started then, because I know you're itching to do so. So the first thing we're going to do is work out the gross from the net. And we're going to do it with a blank Excel spreadsheet. So I encourage you to follow along if you're able to. So in cell A1, we're going to type in the net. In cell B2, uh, B1, we're going to type in VAT rate. And in C1, we're going to type in gross. Now, the net in this case is 4,000. So just as a word of explanation, the net is all the money that you've earned minus the VAT, which at the moment in England is 20%. So I'm going to type in 20%. So now we need to work out a calculation for the gross. So there are many ways of doing this, but this is the simplest way I know. If you've got any others or any other ideas or any other suggestions, please put them in the comments below. So the calculation goes, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see, equals A2 multiplied, and I'm going to go, that's shift and 8 for the multiplication, open bracket, so it's shift and the number 9 at the top of the keyboard for the open bracket, and then it's 1 plus, and then I use the mouse to click on the 20%. I then close off the brackets there, and I press enter, and I can see that the gross here, the amount, the, the total amount of money that I've earned is 4,800. So let's have a look at how to work out net VAT amount from gross. So what I'm gonna do is just do a duplicate of sheet one by holding down my control key on the keyboard and dragging a copy across, and now I've got an exact copy. Okay, so let me just swap these two around. So I'm just going to type in gross and net here. Okay, so let's type in the gross amount of 4,800. So if the net's worked out or calculated correctly, this should work out at 4,000. I'm just going to double click on the cell to go in there. And you know what? The calculation is exactly the same except for this multiplication. Because we're trying to work out the net VAT amount from the gross, okay, then I am just going to change that multiplication operator to a forward slash. If you look on your keyboard, it shares the same key as question mark. So it will be A2 equals A2 divided by open bracket 1 plus B2. So press enter and we can see, way hey, 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 we've got the amount there of 4,000. If you want more details as to how exactly that works, I'll give you a link below where you can go through in excruciating detail exactly why that works. So there we go. That's how you calculate VAT in Excel. With the next tutorial, we're going to continue with Excel percentage calculations, and I'll show you how to integrate what we've learned here from working out the net and the gross VAT into our easy accounts template. So make sure you stick around. I really hope that you've enjoyed this Excel accounts tutorial on Excel percentages and VAT. If you've got anything out of this tutorial video, give us a thumbs up, it means so much, thank you. Uh, make sure you subscribe and click on the notifications button so you don't miss the next tutorial video. Thanks so much for watching.